All right, we're running Carter Graph Maps version 3 on a Macintosh, um, but the way it works is pretty much the same on the phones also. When you first get the program, there will be nothing installed, so you first want to go to Maps. And I've already installed this. This is a Maps Forge an offline vector map. That's one of the things that makes this program really great. Um, you, when you first run the program, you won't see anything here. So you go to Plus, and you go to uh, Download Maps. Now here, um, there's free Maps Forge maps, and then there's high quality ones. I believe you need a subscription uh, to the program to get the high quality ones. It's such a good deal. It's like under ten dollars for a lifetime subscription. You'll never get a better ten dollar deal than this. So just get the subscription. Then you can go into the high quality Maps Forge maps and uh, find the uh, ones that you want. Uh, and the, I, the the Northeast file is about 1.3 gigs, so it takes a little bit to download. So once you download that, you have the file running, and you can turn it on with the eye eyeball icon and then you can see it here. The other thing that you need with uh, running these ve vector maps is uh, something called themes. So you want to go and install theme styles. I'm sorry. Well they are they're called render themes actually. Now when you first go into this folder you will not see anything here basically. It'll just say defaults. So you would go to plus and then you would go to download style and then you have two choices here and you go to open Andro maps and hit click on elevate and element style and it will download it. I've already done that. So here you can see um, they're pretty close. Uh, we're running elevate because I double clicked it. There's a little red thing that says default. So we're running um, elevate right now. And this is an area in Connecticut that I'm familiar with as a bunch of like kind of off-road trails and some hiking trails and stuff. So one of the things I want to show you is there's another theme that I'm aware of. There's probably lots of them, but the one other one I'm aware of, you can download from uh, ADV Rider. So we're going to jump over to ADV Rider, ADV Rider. And within the, th there's a thread, uh, it's for, it's called Locus. Um, and there's a person, um, this person, SRTIE4K. This guy's, in his signature right here, is, it's called Adventure Theme. So if you click on this, it will bring you to a download. And it's going to download a zip file. Okay, and there it is. So now we're going to go back to Cartograph, and we're going to go to Styles, and now we're going to go to here, and we're going to import this style now. And uh, you want to pick the zip file, open. Okay, now this automatically brings in these two. Uh, this is for version 3 and 4. I actually don't know which version of Open Android Maps uh, is being used by Cartograph. I think it's version 4. Um, but if you now click on this and set it as default, you can see it's it makes it a lot easier to see this stuff, the off-road stuff. So once again, this is the adventure theme here. And you can see all these little squiggly lines off the side road here. Or you can go back to Elevate. And it's not as easy to see, especially like the squiggly line stuff off of the side road, um, even if you're at the same zoom level. So here we'll go back once again, Styles, Adventure 4, and you see all this information. So it's a great, uh, it's an additional theme, and it's, it's pretty good if you're into this kind of stuff. And uh, that's all.